Hey everybody, it's Eileen. I'm here from my studio. It's Thursday. I'm leaving Saturday. I am nowhere near ready. Probably shouldn't be doing this live, but here we are and we're going to do it. I have such a fun little thing to show you today. It I, I've been going through my leather stuff because I'm going to be demoing for silver glitter leather at the um wait a minute are you guys from facebook oh okay there's charlotta hi i don't see that oh okay it's coming on you know it, it there's like a little counter up in the top and i can never figure out what's happening here sometimes it takes a minute so anyway welcome to the show i have lots to show you hey belinda hi elaine and charlotta laura yeah there's uh, so anyway, I was, <laughs> yeah, my mind's in a million places. My place is a mess. Don't look around. I'm packing up. I'm trying to sort piles. If I move them, I will never find them again. Um, hi, Crystal, Karen, two Lauras. Okay. Um, so anyway, I've been looking through my leather stuff because I'm bringing samples because I'm going to demo at the trade show at NAMTA for silver creek leather so i was looking for samples and i found this little book i had done a long time ago and i thought oh i have to make one of these so okay oh thanks belinda hey angie hi hey hazel and lisa deanna windy northern virginia you're not kidding deanna we had like branches down i went to I got a notice from FedEx that said you that your product project your whatever it is package <laughs> is delivered and I looked outside I'm like did it blow away it that we had branches down everywhere anyway it was in the mailbox but um it's yes you're excited about the new dice thanks for your order Leslie hi Gina so out the dice Harry um I'm getting them tomorrow I'm leaving Saturday I'm closing my Etsy store while I'm gone because I, you know, I can't be here to pack them. So I'm going to be closed for two weeks. So if anybody is interested, I'm just doing the, the bundles. Um, when I get back, I'll do the individual. It, it just takes too long to pack. So if you are interested in getting the bundle, that's four dies. Um, I did a video today. Oh, thanks, Hazel. Hey, Glum. Hi, Kathy. Uh, hey, Angela and Andrea and Helen. <laughs> yes, crazy day. So I'm packing, packaging all four of them together. The cost is $94. It's free shipping. So if you want the four of them, uh, what I was going to say was I did a video and I posted it on my YouTube channel. If you want to take a better look at the dyes, what's that's part of the collection. They don't officially, like we're not doing the launch really until April 5th, but I just wanted to get it out there ahead of time. So if anybody was interested in getting it, you could, you can see what goes into it. So um, I'm closing my Etsy shop uh, Friday night, probably around midnight. So if anybody wants anything, just let me know and I will pack it and ship it on saturday okay we're gonna get on the road um my susie bentz who you know is coming with me and we are gonna have a blast it's so great to be back on the road today oh thank you angie Ugh. I, you know i made that at like two in the morning and then i had to edit it oh well it's done <laughs> the, the editing is it takes forever i'm having fun making pocket notebooks aren't they fun Oh, yeah, because that one's going out, guys. Ah! So I found this other one. I don't know if you guys remember seeing this. This is the notebook die. And this was such a fun one because it was a big large. You only you rolled it through and it was done. Well, I embossed it. And then I, I it's out of leather. And I, uh, I can't do it so you can see it. But I, I had like painted the colors with some pigment ink. I didn't like it, but I thought I'm not going to throw it out because it's leather. Well, I went and put some rose gold 
um, luster wax on it, and it is it's amazing. So I'm going to put a different notebook in here because I didn't buff this back part and it got some dirt or well luster wax on it. So if you're going to use the luster wax and put it against paper, know that it might rub off on it. And just take what I do is take like an old t-shirt and just rub it off. My view is a bit dark. Yeah. Well, I do have another light. This thing is so hot though. Let me see. I don't know if this is going to help. Oh, yeah, it actually does. I don't know if you can see the color. Well, anyway, just a tip. <laughs> okay. Yes, notebook is your favorite. You bought two more in case you wreck one. You bought two in case you wreck one. That's a good idea, actually. Behind you is very bright. I know. That's all my, like, my lighting. My son-in-law did this uh two summers ago and I love it because I can see I hate it's bad enough I'm in a basement but I can see down here so all right let me show you what we're gonna make all right I I put it in the the little that thing is right in my face uh I put it in the description that it would make a cute pendant and then I had to go make a pendant so look at this hey Tanya Look at this little tiny book. I'll show you better when we put the camera down. But hey, Wendy Dean and Anna. I mean, it is teeny tiny. I'll show you. I have, this is the tiny book. And this is the micro mini tiny, teeny tiny book. It's adorable. So I had to play with it a little bit. Although uh, there's so many other things I should be doing. Uh, <laughs> it's a, you know, you could crank these out and out of your scraps. I mean, they take nothing. They're tiny. So I'm going to show you how to do that. But just first, a couple announcements. I told you about the Chapter 2 bundle. It's listed in my Etsy store if you want it. The bundle you can get it. I can ship it out. It's coming in tomorrow. All I'm going to do is scoop them up out of the box, put them in an envelope, and ship them to you if you if you want it now. So, and then I'm closing the shop for a couple weeks. Oh, thanks. Oh, tiny. Oh, Angela, that would be adorable. You could put them all in a little leather cord. You're in a Zoom meeting. Okay. All right. We'll miss you, Kathleen. We'll see you soon. Itty. Prettiness. It is. <laughs> okay, just a couple other things. I know I forgot to post. I have a bunch of napkins to post and I mean to uh, put in the shop. But these are from last year and I have uh, seven packs, I think. They're really pretty and I can't get these napkins again. So if you want them, they're in the Etsy store. They're really cool. There's a lot of like funny bunnies in here and stuff like that. In fact, that's a good lead-in for what uh, I'm doing a free class tomorrow. It's going to be in the Ornamentally Yours Facebook group. So you have to join it before the event, okay? Oh, you still have your bunny? Um, yes, a key ring would be very cute, and you could make notes. I have to find a tiny pencil. I, You know, when I was little, I don't know where they got it, but... I don't even know how you would sharpen it, but it was so skinny. Um, my aunt had this little pencil. I was so envious of it. I wanted it so bad. And I don't know where she got it. It might have been a promotional thing from her job or something. But anyway, um, so for Ornamentally Yours, Lindsay uh, uh, Ostrom, she is just so much fun. you got to follow her, guys. She, we've been friends for a long time. And she is kind of... What she wants for this group is she wants people to be able to just come on and do it and not have to buy all the supplies to do it. Uh-oh. You have bad connection? Ooh. -ooh. Uh, so she asked if I could figure out another way to do my shadow boxes. Because I said, well, I have a new release I'd like to show people. She said, well, can you give options? So... My option is to work with a Amazon box <laughs> and we're going to make this. 
Now, you'll be able to get the same effect if you use one of the shadow box dies that are coming out as part of this new release. But this is just another way to make a shadow box, but uh, with an Amazon box. So I have, I have done it. So tomorrow at 2 o'clock Eastern, and I promise I will make a graphic. I have been trying to get to it all day, but I haven't gotten there yet. We will be doing, I, I will be doing a free class over on Ornamentally Yours. I'll put all this in a graphic. And if you want to do it, come on over. It's a fun group. There's a free, there, I think, 10 free classes. So you can watch all weekend. So I'm going early because I have to leave on my trip. Okay. Uh-oh. Hey, Stacy. You're kind of choppy, really? Let me make sure I'm all plugged in here. I'm on my land, you know, my Ethernet, so it should be good. I don't know. Yeah, I see my Wi-Fi coming and going too, though. I see that same thing up in the corner. It only has one bar. Now it's at two. I'm not sure what's happening. Anyway. Yeah, the classes do look cute. So anyway, if you want to come to that, two o'clock Eastern, okay? What else? Oh, we have a brand new post up. Guys, you got to look at this. Oh, they're so, so good. Lisa made a felt. Well, you have to look at it. It's it's amazing and a lot of work. She said she's been working on it since January. Her stitching is beautiful. So she made a book box. Uh, Jenny Atkinson made one and she did a video. So um, we have a flip through of Elizabeth's book. Tanya made her rolling drawer storage. Uh, and there's one more and I cannot remember it. I'm going to kick myself. I should go look at it. Uh, Madeline. Oh, Madeline made a, she used wood. She did a book burning. Uh, I, a book, a book burning, wood burning. <laughs> My brain. Anyway, it's worth going over and checking out the blog. Okay. Eileenhull.com. If you haven't joined the fan club, join the Eileen Hull fan club on Facebook. Yes, they gorgeous i know every one of them i mean this, these guys are just crazy uh what else tomorrow i'm also going to be on maker forte and i forgot to <laughs> message her and ask what time so i'll put a, a thing up about that too i don't know why i said i would do this the day before i'm leaving anyway lots going on but let's make our craft okay Good. Everybody's saying, Lisa, it's amazing. Yeah. So this is what we're going to make today. Teeny tiny little book. This could even be a charm on a bigger journal. Wouldn't that be cute? Just hanging. It's so cute. Okay. Let's get going on this because there's kind of a lot of stuff to it. All right. Let me uh, turn the camera down. I'm going to get this ready first. Oh, wait. Let me see if I can. All right. How do I do this? Okay. All right. So let me put this up here. Oh, that was, you guys still hear me? Yes, to add to the strap of your purse. That would be cute. All right. Drives me crazy when this thing is all wonky. All right. So here it is. And this is embossed with like a snowflake design. Let me move this over so I'm right in the middle. All right. Oh, and also I wanted to show you, I did my bookmarks. And I did, a, I like them a lot better with just the soft touch. You know, these other ones were too harsh. But, you know, they're still pretty. So I just wanted to tell you I got them done, almost. I have to put the, uh, the... What am I trying to say? I'm moving this forward a little more. I didn't do the toppers, but that's okay. We have plenty of time. Okay, so this is what we're working with. And this is a piece of the journal die. If you don't have the journal die, it's going out pretty soon if it's not out already. But this one is, this is like a classic because it makes a big journal. 
it's eight and three quarters by four and a half and it's like traveler's notebook size and you can use you can make your own inserts or you can uh, buy them they'll work they're interchangeable the other thing that we are going to use is uh embossing folders so these are the new ones this is the brand new one uh that's the sweater they're out of stock on that but i think they still have button ones so we can use whatever one happens to be around I'm using the thinlets die, and this was kind of interesting because when you look in here, this is tiny paper, you know. This so I took the the thinlets die, and because I wanted kind of the raggedy edges like this, I really like how this looks. Let me just pull this so you can see what it looks like. This was I don't even know where this is like parchment paper, tea dyed paper. Sorry, my nails are so stained. I. I was using inks and I cannot get them off. Anyway, it's like a parchment paper. I like the deckled edges. So I wanted to do that again. I didn't even care if they were sticking out over the edge here. So I thought, how can I do that uh, easily? You know, and I, this came to mind because I thought maybe one of these little postage stamp pieces would work inside the die. And it turns out, yep, this one. So I just took this. This tiny little dictionary. I got this at my dad's place when I was cleaning out. Test the sis. And let's do this couple of these. Probably cuts like three or four at a time. Let's do four and see what happens. So this has nest on it. That's cute. And we'll cut this in a minute. Okay. Um, here is the tiny book die, which let's see the comparison here, you know. It's still cute, but this is even cuter because it's smaller. So let's go ahead and get started on this. So if you want these, they're in the Etsy store. And I'm open till tomorrow night at 6. All right, let's get our... Oh, the other thing that we need, of course, is the leather. And this is leather from Silver Creek. And that's the company that I'm going to be demoing for. So I want to make some samples for them for the booth. So I took a piece of this little, it's called um, Natural Goat. This is goat skin. It is so pretty to work with. It's kind of small, or it's, uh, it's not as thick. You know, this is probably, I don't know, one or two ounce leather. But it's nice for the small scale because you don't need weight on it to... Um, cut it and you know it's not going to get floppy because it's so little so what I did was I just cut some strips like that are wide enough so I can make a couple of them and I'm going to keep my name out of the uh, thing here because I I cut one up and then I didn't know what, what leather I needed. So, all right. I mean, while I'm cutting, I might as well do too. All right. So now there's a couple ways you can do it. I kind of like this better because I don't want those cut lines on the front. And you almost have to use a width that deep. And I just really wanted it folded and I wanted just a couple pages inside. So you can do it either way. You can put it with the right side facing the score, you know, and then you're going to get this look, you know. You know where to fold. That's a nice thing. But if you do it this way and you put the right side facing up, it's going to score on the inside, which is the rough side of the leather. And then, you know, the score lines are inside. It doesn't matter because once you cut it and you have to spray it and, and get it wet, um, you can mold it kind of right after you cut it. Okay, that's when you want to do it. So I'll show you. Let's do one. Let's cut it right now. So as I said, this is the journal die. And you can see this is the cover of the journal. And this is like a little closure. So you would 
you know, brad this onto the back of the journal and then flip it over, put a little Velcro or magnets over here. And uh, that's how it works. So what I'm going to do, I think I will put my leather facing up because I do like to be able to fold it where I want, you know, and not have to be restricted by those score lines. But you can do it either way. It doesn't matter. Both ways work. All right. And then I'm just going to roll it through. And let's do that other one while we're at it. So here you go. You have this nice little piece. Okay. And let's do our other one. Um, I don't even want to do it the other way. I know that I like it this way. I want to. So um, the other thing that I thought would be fun would be to try coloring it. So what color do you guys think? I have my uh, blend inks, and I was going to use that. Thank you, Glum. Thanks for the info. Okay, so let's, we can leave one blank. And, and then the other thing I was thinking, you have these cute little pieces that are left over. You could do a shaker out of that, you know? You'd have to really kind of match it up and make sure you did it square, but I don't know. There's possibilities there, which I do not have time to explore, but I would like to, but I'm not going to. All right, let's cut our pages now. So for that, I'm going to use my chrome cutting pen. Here is our little stack of pages. And here is my die. And, you know, you if you had a different size book, you would just kind of take this and hold it up and see what fits, you know. And... Probably could use that one too. In fact, maybe that's the one. Maybe I better measure this. Uh, let's see. I think it's that one. That would probably work too. It's a little shorter, but I went for the big one. So, and the, all, the other thing is it's on the edge. So you just want to remember, okay, you're going to fold this over. So have this be going lengthwise or whatever you call that, width-wise. And then just make sure that the cutting blades are all on the paper, because then you're going to get some that don't have cut edges, which is not the end of the world. This, this cutting pad is a mess. And I think I put it in crooked. Yeah, I did. Well, that's, yeah. Ah. Well, I still did it. So you're going to get a bunch of these little pages, which you have to pick this stuff out. But it makes these nice little serrated, you know, pages, which I really liked. Oh, you know what? I didn't go down far enough. I did that before. Oh, I did it here. Well, we'll just tear it. This is a rough book. Good enough. All right, let's do another one just to. These little things are kind of obnoxious. All right, let's get this straight this time. There we go. All right, one more. And then, oops, that moved. I had that over too far. It doesn't matter. It's just if you want to keep this straight, it's not a big deal. Make sure you put it all the way through, and then I put it back just to make sure. It sounds like it's going to have a heart attack. I know how you feel, die cut machine. <laughs> I'm approaching that myself. It's just I haven't been on the road in a long time, and I'm afraid I'm going to forget what to do. How do I do this? Luckily, Susie will be with me, and she'll keep me under control. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. All right, so then you have to pick these out because they, you know, they're stuck in there. But I'm not doing that right now. Okay, so now we have our cute little pages, and I'm just going to tear these off. But look at that. Is it? It's like a little tiny book. And then on some of my pages, 
I did go ahead and I used some of my new stamps. Um, this is the postage, uh, the snail mail postage set. And I have that somewhere, but I did go ahead and trim really closely around all of these because I started getting, you know, ink on it and that drives me crazy. So I just did go ahead and really go in there and trim. Be careful though, don't chop stuff off. Okay, once you're on your way, it will be like always. I hope so, Charlotta. I mean, I hope I can behave myself. I don't even know. So I went ahead, oh, and this is some other stuff I got. Isn't this pretty? It's washi tape. It's by 49th and Market. I love it. And it just fits on the page, each little page. It did kind of wrinkle it up a little, though. So I'm thinking maybe I need to put some on the other side or I don't know. But anyway, I think these are really pretty. So you can use whatever you want in here. You could, you know, ink, you could letter, you could draw, doodle, whatever. Um, I think I am going to go for my favorite color and i'm going to color one of these leathers here this is kind of uh off the cuff here because i haven't really done one but i'm just going to take actually maybe i'll do it with my water brush because it's not as messy i'll dilute it a little bit and then i'm going to paint what fun it's behaving it's not jane I just don't want to embarrass anybody. That's all. But myself, I'm kind of used to it. Oh, we didn't emboss them yet. Hang on. I wonder if maybe I should paint them first. Except then they'll... Oh, well, they have to get wet anyway. I'm going to emboss them first. I, I mean, I'm going to paint it first. I can't even say what I'm thinking. All right. I'm trying to blob out. I don't want to do it really... That one's not coming out. Okay. Off to PT. Bye, Crystal. See you later. Come back and see how it turns out. Who knows? All right. I'm just going to paint this on here. The thing is, you know, you have to wet it anyway. So I think the trick will be to get an even coat. Maybe I should get all of this. I don't mind. I, I think I'd like a nice, thick, you know, bright color. I don't know how this is going to come out. <laughs> Story of my life. But it's pretty good so far. <laughs> Somehow. And you know what? If there's little variations here, that would be all right, too. I think that's fine. Because it's leather. It's all organic. It's, you know, this is fun. It's better than painting because... Um, you don't get messy. You don't have to wash a paintbrush. All right, let's do the other side too, because when I spray like my papers and all that, I like to do front and back because I want them to, they kind of equal out the, the moisture. It kind of flattens a little bit. And you can add a little, squeeze a little water in if you want. You can always add more color. This is kind of cool. I need a little more. Where the embossing is, it will probably show lighter. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. And you know what? It's good to experiment on something small because you're not wrecking like a beautiful big piece of leather, which I do want to show you. I have some um, here in the Etsy store that I thought, I haven't even talked about that leather because it's pretty... All right, and you can even squeeze this and you know I don't think it makes a difference if you do it saturate it I don't know why it did that that seems to be where I started with the color oh well that's that's good that can be the back or maybe it'll just be an interesting focal point on the front of my book. I don't know. 
All right, let's put this in the old folder or the new folder. So which one do we want to do? Now we have to adjust our platform. We want the multi-purpose platform and one cutting pad and that, the folder. So let's put it in. Which one do you think, guys? We don't have to buy anything special for the switch. Let's do this one. I know that I'm going to get color in it, but that's all right. I don't care. I'll wash it out. Okay, let's put it through the new, new folder. This is the crochet mandala. Okay, let's see what happens. I think this is going to be amazing. Alcohol inks might stain. Yes, probably. I'm watching when you're in the buying stage. <laughs> Hi, April. Uh, Ann. Hey, Ann, how are you? You love teeny things? Okay, watch later, Ann. We still have to get together. All right, I rolled it through three times. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's pretty. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Whatever happened? Okay, you can't even hardly notice. But this is, you know, I'm going to have to wash that. Soap and water. Not a big deal. Okay. In fact, I wonder if we can take this one and spritz it with water and kind of gets pick up some color on there. Let's see. Uh, and if it doesn't look good, we'll just, you know, where's my water? We'll just um, paint it after. I really do like this goat skin for these tiny. Yeah, you know what? I don't think it's going to, it's kind of dissipated here. So, well, let's just do it plain. Let's see. I'll put it over that. You can see, I don't really want a line of it. Maybe it went up here. Well, let's just, let's see what happens. If it has a little color, I'll just go over it with my, I took it apart, hang on. Oh, it's fun to experiment. <laughs> experiment when you should be packing. Well, the, actually, this is going towards the, uh, you know, leather knowledge. So that's good. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, yeah. It did kind of get a little tint to it, but not much. All right. Well, it's still pretty. Oh, this is the right side. Yeah, it didn't really do anything. That's all right. You think I should color? Let's see if it makes a difference if we color it after. I don't think it will. I don't know why it would, but you never know. That's how you discover things. All right, let's get a little more ink. This thing is never going to run out, ever. I'm just going to spritz some water into it. You love your switch? Yes. Now, somebody was asking about the switch and cutting pads and, you know, cutting through. And I hope you guys are getting the, it got the message about that, um, that they're coming out with a, a, a crease pad for the switch for the scoreboards. Because some people were having, uh, or, the, you know, when they were working with it, they realized that it could cut through because it has so much pressure which is like the Big Shot Plus. And, you know, I mean, you have to think there are so many applications for this machine that you can't make it perfect for everything. So, you know, it cuts dyes, the thinlets, it's beautiful. I mean, I have mine. I've been using it to cut my shadow box frames, tons of them. And so if, if you're doing something a little more specialized, it makes sense that you might need additional adaptations to you know make it work perfectly i mean it'll cut it i haven't tried it yet with the scoreboard i just i don't want to know i want to wait until i get my my uh crease pad 
So this is looking pretty good. It's a little more even because it's already wet, I think. And I'm just moving it around a little, but this is pretty. It's I think it's going to wind out up about the same. But who knows? It's not dry yet. It is fun to paint. And you could do stripes. You could do all kinds of, you know, blending. And this is definitely fun. Look at that. It really shows the pattern. I was worried that adding more wet would make the pattern... Uh, less distinct and it does look less here but here it looks okay let's see this one is drier so the color changes a little they're both pretty I don't care I like them both okay now these are going to have to dry for a little bit because uh, I don't want to use the heat gun on these because sometimes they curl and I don't want them to but I am forming this um, spine here and just press it in and that will really you know that's the shape it's going to be all right um put them over here all right so i'm going to use one that i did not uh color wait a minute my nose is running these allergies so I'm going to use one that I already made and we'll put this together and I'll show you how I, I didn't, I didn't, um, stitch that one. That was one that was already done. Where did it go? This I had already done, but I thought, yeah, that's a good way to bind that. So I'm going to do it the same way. And let's get our pages. So you can do as many as you want as many of this that will fit. Let's try it with this. And pick a couple that you like. You know, if I was really going to make this... Oop, that one's upside down. Yeah, make sure that the pages... That happened before. I had some of the pages upside down. So just go through and make sure they're all in the right direction. And these look pretty good. I did that lady's face. It's kind of hard to see, though. And were some other ones over here. Anyway. Yeah, we could put, let's put the Eiffel Tower on the front. And let's do this in the middle, because that's pretty. Okay. Just kind of tuck them in, fold them. Now we have a nice little book, and this is dry. It's right about the same height, you know. So you use a crease pad in place of the cutting pad, which the blade's kind of thank you Tom, for explaining. All right, so what we're gonna do is just take our die pick and put your papers in here. And what you might want to do is where is my little dictionary? You can use this as a I forget what they call it, a cradle. So you push everything down into the the middle here so that everything is lined up let's just make sure and then just make a make a hole hopefully you can get your thing out and you make another hole and that goes through to all of the you know front and back that's not bad and then you just get a needle and thread. Now this is not thread. This is the mice got at it. I've I've taken four out to the graveyard, waiting for another one. Uh, but this is a wax linen. I think a two. I'm I don't know how. It's pretty thin. So I just took that, and now I'm gonna stitch my layers together. And find the right hole and just tie it inside. And that's your little book. So clever. Oh, I know that. I know. I couldn't believe that worked. That was a that was a happy, happy moment. <laughs> I'll admit. 
because I'm just lazy and I didn't want to do, I have one of those old postage stamp, um, you know, like these fancy scissors. These are the deco edge. In fact, I might have used these for that other book. But it just takes so long. So I want them, I want them fast. And actually you could, maybe I want to, you could make a little place for a dangle. You could just kind of loop this back over and around. Let's do that because I think it might be kind of cool. You could add a jump ring and a little charm onto this part here at the top. So you're, you're just stitching all the layers together again. And then go through the middle. Hmm, and maybe, oops, now I pierced my, I've done that before. I think I should have pulled that, but uh, we'll figure it out. Where am I going now? Oh, all right. Go around here. Uh, okay. to pull something. Why is that not working? Oh, I need to go down here. Is that going to be the top? Yes, good. Okay. Because then I could tie it right to these two strings here. Sorry, I lost myself for a minute there. So we could leave these strings, and then if you want to tie on a tiny little charm, here, you have these two strings. You could tie it on and trim it. I think that is adorable. Okay. Well, that was a happy surprise because I wasn't going to do that. Okay. So now the other thing would be if you want to put it on. Oh, this is the other thing. I, this is a leather punch tool. And if, if you want to go punch the other hole, because there's only one that comes on the piece like this. So if you want, what you do is just go over here and you can use your leather hole punch or you can use your crocodile. This is just designed for leather, so it's it's a little smaller. You can dial the different sizes. It's pretty cool, like a really skinny, you know, for wire almost. But, um, but you can also, oh, that's off. You can also use your crocodile. Plus, this is not thick enough to put leather through, so I'm just going to go ahead and make an adjustment here. It's a little, a little off, but I'm not going to worry about that. So then what I did was, and I'm not going to make another one because I don't need another long chain here, but I took a, a bead. It's got to be nice and thick. It's got to have a big opening there so you can, you know, thread these two layers of leather through. So I just took them and doubled them and figured out how long I want it for a necklace or whatever you call this. It's like a pendant, I guess. I don't know what you call it. And measure that and then add a little for a knot. And then you would take both of the these you know, and thread the the bead on there and loop this through the middle, through the two holes, and, you know, then bring this bead down and then tie your knot. And it makes it like a chain. What is the smaller punch called? I think this is a jewelry punch. I'm not sure the name of it. But it really, it works. It's really clean. That's what I like about it. A crocodile sometimes will take a little fiber or leaf fibers, but this one is really clean because it's meant for this. A leather punch, is that what that is? Okay. That's why. <laughs> I 
I should put names on all these tools. My nose is stuffed up. This will punch holes in lots. Yes. Uh, if you make the mice and books to read, well, this would be about their size. You don't have long to live, mice. <laughs> Get out of my basement. You're chewing up my stuff. But I think it would be cute. You'd have to get something really small here. But, you know, look at it. It's just this tiny little book. And you could write, like, a word in there. Or you could put tiny pictures. Or, like, little photos of grandkids. Or, you know, things you print out small. Little ephemera. Little flowers. That would be cute. You know, anything. And, and wear it around your neck. Or it could be, if you had, like, I'm going to this trade show. If I made one of these and had my to-do list or things to remember, whatever, um, I could just put blank pages. And then if I had a tiny pencil, I could write in here. I do have a tiny pen, but I, I like to write in pencil because it's always changing. So I have to cross it out. So... That is the project here, guys. Our memory journal binder punch tool. Yeah, that would have worked. I didn't have it out. The small hole board is for punching holes. Yes, that would have been a good idea. Miniature library for the mice. <laughs> well, it's not going to do much good for them because they're they're on their way out. I just I you know like did you have to eat that really? Stupid mice, two places. Ugh. I liked them until lately. You know, I gave them a lot of leeway. They got away with a lot, but it's like a kid. You know, you can't get let them get away with stuff or they're going to overrun you. Okay, you prefer pencil. Ink will run, that's true too. I just like the temporary nature of pencil. You can erase it. Hi, China Joe. You tell me what brand the tiny stamps you are using. Um, well, their Maker Forte is the brand. Let me turn away. This is the Making Plans. That's a new one. Oh, you're not supposed to see that one. Hang on. Is this the one? No. Uh oh, that, there goes the pile. That one is called Snail Mail Posters. Wait a minute. Yeah, this one. And it's by Maker Forte. And they're very light, but you can see the images on here. So that's what I stamped with on the inside of the book. Postcard. Uh, what else? The Eiffel Tower. Yeah, that's on there too. Um, these are the... These are the elements that are on here. These are they're really fun. I've been playing with them. And what I like is they're small enough. Like if you do want to do a um a mini album like or a tiny book, you know, these fit. They work. Like she would be so cute on the cover of this. And then it's like these are for uh, ephemera. This one says it has paper, envelope, stamps, something you know i i designed them so they're all kind of things that i work with and this one is a little thing of mountains and it says adventures await and i think of my grandkids for that and it's kind of this triangular shape because you just it's not regular life is not regular <laughs> you never know every day this one is a junk journal maker so this mixed media artist you know, and it has there's some with the dates and special delivery. It was fun to make this. So anyway, that's uh, from Maker Forte is the brand. And you can get it, though, in my Etsy store or you can go to their website and they have some there, too. It's nice because it's the white rubber. The only thing is you can't exactly see where it's going, which I did like with the clear stamps. But then the clear stamps don't have as clean as imp an impression. Uh, uh, oh, good Lord. An impression. So there's good things to both of them. And I don't know. I, I like the sturdiness of the white rubber. And 
You can also use it if you want to emboss something you can press the stamp into it which i was thinking would be really cool like sealing wax stamps to press in which may be um something we have to do on another video stamp great on calico oh cool all right karen i gotta look i'm so behind in my messages glum you had to buy the live traps oh the live traps are the well the, yeah we got the glue traps and they are horrible because what happened was they got their little front feet on the front of it and then they couldn't get off and then they started spinning around. I'm like, what is that noise? And it was a little mouse that had three of its legs on the glue trap and one that was, oh, uh, yes. Oh, anytime, China Joe. Oh, thank you. How oh, cute to stamp the lady on canvas piece and stitch onto tiny leather book cover. Leslie, you make me want to pack a little travel bag and make that on my trip. Oh, let's look at these. Oh, they're cute. So they're going to take a little while to drive. I like the color. Now this one, I wish I could. Oh, you know what? This is the first one that we did. I think it's a little brighter. It might have been because I used a, a more... Um, you know, more intense color and didn't dilute it as much as this one, but they're both cool. This is kind of a more weathered look. Oh, see, you know what? This one. Um, yeah, that's the same. So I did one, one white. That's the deboss version. So, but they're both pretty anyway. So guys, that's what's happening. Um, I will be doing shows from the road, but if you want to turn on notifications, then you'll find out when I go live. So if you want to do that and keep up with everything, you can always watch on replay, but you can see what's happening. So we're going to be going to a class in North Carolina on Monday, teaching that, and then we're going to be driving for a couple days. On Tuesday, we're going to do our release party from the road. So come and see what's happening there. Who knows? Could be a disaster. And then on Friday, we'll be at the trade show at NAMTA. The first two days are education. And then the second two days are the trade show. I think that I can go live from the show floor, but I'll have to see how that goes. Okay. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for coming the camera up to see what's going on in the trap and the squirrel chewed on the camera. Oh, that little stinker. They are, they're so smart, but they drive you nuts. And I like them. I think they're cute. I mean, I have a friend who she is just horrified by the thought of mice, but I kind of think they're cute. We had pet ones for the kids when they were little, but you know, they, they're, they don't know their limits. All right. I'm taking off. I got to go pack more, guys. Thanks for coming, and we'll see you soon. Okay? Have a great weekend. All right. How do I turn this off? It's not going up here. Uh oh. Now, wait a minute. I can't figure it out without my mouse. My mouse, get it? <laughs>